I think I'm a large. Okay yes, you're only large. I rather fancy myself you being want a large. This green, royal What's blue, blue navy blue, <laughs> red, black yeah, and you white. You brought me that black one for Lottie Jo Bing tonight. Thank you. Bring it on Sunday, John. Is it It's not here, Sunday. I'll pop it around. I'll drop it off We'll drop it off tomorrow. Oh, it's very pleasant to What do you think, girl? Because you're a bit more used to oh, yeah. quality of clothing. Yeah, I'm coming from Tubmerdin tomorrow. Should, I should take this up, shouldn't I? I'm over at Tubmerdin. That's a shame we're having strip tease when we start filming. <laughs> <laughs> Are you filming that in his putting his sweatshirt on? Oh, well, you couldn't pay the fees. Yes. <laughs> that goes in the front, Jim, yeah, not the back. Not the picture. I am, I'm filming him. Thanks, Steve. Uh, what what colour? colour do I want? There's the, the green that Stephen's got. Am I not going into blue? This royal blue, navy blue, black, you can't wear red. No. Green, I'd like. Green. Please, yes. Green, large. Yes, how much do you want? The £15.99 for you, Jim. Well, £16 know. to everybody no, else. Richard's got a t shirt. He was the first one to buy a t shirt off us. <laughs> He's going to wear it when he goes jogging. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Oh, it's a shutter. Oh, I haven't got this. The speed rack. Oh, wait a minute, the shutter's wrong. I'll oh, have to stop. That's not. That is St. Peter's. Yes, it is. It's the back. The shutter has been perfectly all right. <laughs> Brown Square. Painting the house for the Queen, is it? Lover Street, isn't it? Oh, Lover Street. Lover Street, where the Queen went, yeah. yes. Oh. The Unicivic Trust members transformed this into this. No. 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 no I think I should have to stop. No, to this street. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really good as well. Oh, that's Westgate, isn't it? Well, it shows some of the. That's cool. No, I've got the sign on this. That's nice. Cool. Cool, they're library. They're cleaning our china, aren't they? You see, there's all signed on this, but that shows the before and after. Can we have the sign? Yeah, but I've got the sign on when it comes up to St. Peter's. Oh, really? Do you want me to get the sign on this? Well, you can do it later. Yeah. You could always put the sound on for a tape for me. Yeah. I could use yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, yes. Clover Street, later to find its niche in the history of the town, yeah. Yeah. set the base for the sandblasting and stone painting of private properties. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, is that the old bridge? Yes. Well, you know how they did the bonfire. Yeah. Cleaning the town. Operation Spring Clean was in full swing in Burnley in the early months of 1968. An action committee had been formed and the youth organisations of the town set about clearing up such eyesores as this, many of which existed within the borough boundaries. Cleared areas, apart from their improved appearance, provide safer places for children to play. Rivers were cleared of debris Mounds as well as nature's. And one of the most spectacular methods of clearing up the town was a procession and bonfire organised by the Junior Civic Trust and the Burnley Round Table. Band, followed by some very charming road sweepers, several lorries toured the stony home district of the town, inviting householders to root out their combustible rubbish. Set 
up along the route and demand by members of the Junior Civic Trust.
Hotels and the commercial and industrial concerns followed suit. And the local authority did its share with the sandblasting of the central library. Carefully watched by Mr. Cole, the very librarian. Here we see the before and after effect as the last part awaits the sandblasters. It was to see the results of Operation Spring Clean that Her Majesty the Queen made a whistle-stop tour of North East Lancashire, visiting Burnley on May 16, 1968. The focal point of the visit was to be the parish church of St Peter, and in the early afternoon, the crowds began to assemble. was on flowers. Whilst on the platform itself, local dignitaries and people connected with Operation Spring Clean, who were to be presented to Her Majesty, assembled in good time.
and escorted to the platform. the local dignitaries. The mayoress, followed by Miss Rose Heilbrunn, QC, recorder of Burnley. The town clerk, Mr. C.B. Thornley, OBE. The acting chief constable, Mr. N. Greenwood. Then came the town's member of parliament, Mr. Dan Jones and Mrs. Jones. And at this stage, the presentations were taken over by Colonel W.A. Mather, who first presented the Suffragan Bishop of Burnley, the Right Reverend G.E. Holderness, no doubt a very proud man indeed, to be welcoming Her Majesty to his own parish church, Councillor F.A. Bailey, Chairman of the Action Committee, as well as of Burnley's Improvement Committee, followed by Mr. Simon Townley, J.P., Chairman of Burnley and District Civic Trust, and Mr. A. Wood, the Secretary of the Civic Trust and Vice Chairman of the Action Committee. Then came several members of the Action Committee who also hold other positions in the town. Mr. R. A. Young, President of the Chamber of Trade. Burnley Civic Trust member, Mrs. G. Williams. The Deputy Town Clerk, Mr. R. W. Gunn. Mr. P. Dibble, Education Youth Organizer. And finally, three representatives of the youth of the town who had done so much work in the campaign. Tom Huggan, member of the Burnley Junior Civic Trust. Jeremy Lawson, the youth mayor. And Miss Beatrice Grasson, leader of Holly Green Youth Club. Her Majesty had a word with every one of the platform party and showed a keen interest in what they had to say. Then the Queen walked round the far side of the church where members of the Junior Civic Trust were working on their big project in transforming the old churchyard into pleasant gardens. Again, Her Majesty displayed the greatest interest and chatted to some of the young people. gone unseen by most of the assembled onlookers, who next saw the scene as she came around to a point by the main gate. <laughs> where she was invited to sign the visitor's book, both of the town and of the parish church. was saying goodbye to the bishop and making her way to the royal car for the brief journey to Burnley Central Station.
outside Central Station and in fact all along the route from the church, the crowd had again waited for their own glimpse of the Queen. A last quick check on the rails and the crews of the two diesel engines, resplendent in special uniforms, went along to bring in the royal train. <coughs> Lord Derby arrived to supervise the final moments of the visit. Closely followed by the mayor and the mayoress, who, with other civic leaders, came to bid the Queen Godspeed. With very little time to spare, the royal train drew into the platform. And then came Her Majesty, to be greeted by Mr. Searson, area manager of British Rail. <coughs> Looking remarkably fresh after a long day of sightseeing and handshaking, the Queen entered the station <coughs> On the platform, it was quick goodbyes all around. And a few moments later, the royal train drew out on the journey to Nosley Hall, the home of Lord Darby. And so the Queen had so briefly come and gone, and yet had shown such an interest in our town that in the words of the Burnley Express, she had made her Burnley subjects feel so proud.